guys, welcome to my channel. So if you're new, I'm Jennifer and I'm a mummy of two. I've got a little boy called Ralph who is three and this is Olivia who is three months. So this video is all about how to entertain a newborn and the things that we've been doing from birth to three months. Initially, your baby will probably just sleep most of the time, but once they have a wait period, then you can start doing things with them. We love these black and white books. I actually got these ones from Amazon, but because newborns can only see about 12 inches in front of their face and they can only initially see in black, white and grey, these high contrast black and white books are brilliant for them to start focusing on. I sometimes just lay Olivia on her changing mat and lay this book by the side of her, or I'll just sit her on my lap and we'll like read them together. But I find she's really stimulated by this and she really tries to look at them and focus on them. One of the things we like to do was to put Olivia on my lap, like across my knees, and I'd just pull faces at her. I'd smile, I'd poke my tongue out. And as she started to focus, she would then start copying these things and it all just helped her, like encourage her to build up her own facial expressions. Bath time is another great way to stimulate your baby and something you can do from a young age. Livia loves the bath. As soon as I put her in the warm water, she just goes crazy and her little arms and legs start splashing. Sometimes stimulating them can be as easy as just getting outside in the fresh air, just opening the back doors, standing outside and having a change of scenery. Then just doing things like singing to your baby, like sitting them on your lap, doing clap hands, like cycling legs, anything just to interact with them. Tummy time is a great way to stimulate your baby. You do this by placing your baby on their stomach while they're awake, but obviously always supervise your baby and watch when they've had enough. But this can really help to develop strong neck and shoulder muscles and promote motor skills. You can start tummy time soon after birth as part of your baby's daily play. In the first few weeks, just try tummy time one to two minutes at a time. Your baby might not like it very much to start with, but you can just build on this each day. Once your baby arrives, oh, well done. <laughs> Once your baby arrives, a great way to stimulate them is by reading a book. Your baby won't understand the words, but hearing your voice stimulates an interest in sounds and helps them to develop listening skills. Plus, no matter what your baby's age, reading together is a great opportunity for cuddling and bonding. Mirrors are a great way for your baby to explore. Try holding a mirror out in front of them. They may even try and reach out and touch it. Babies are attracted to mirrors because they are bright and shiny and babies actually quite like looking at faces even if it's their own. Eventually they will learn that they're seeing their own face and start to recognise their reflection but looking at the mirror also increases their ability to focus. I find a great way to stimulate Olivia is to sit her up and you might have already noticed that your baby is quite eager to sit up and you can see them sort of trying to push themselves up a little bit. And they probably won't be able to sit up on their own for a good few months yet, but as their neck and shoulder muscles get stronger, they can start practicing. And a great way to do this is just to lay them on their back, put something comfortable behind them, a pillow, their mat, and then just sit in front of them, get hold of their hands, and just pull them slowly up so their head follows their shoulders. This is something the doctor actually does at their eight week check. But you'll love to see your baby's expression as they see the world from this new upright angle. I remember when Olivia done this, she just beamed and was like so pleased with herself. And then just gently lower them back down and you can just repeat this for as long as they're happy. Sounds are another great way to stimulate your baby. Just sit or lie next to them, crinkle or rattle objects so that they can hear their sounds. Then you could put the noisemakers in their hand and help them to make the sounds themselves. Do this every so often and watch the joy as they start to realise that they're actually making the sounds happen themselves. You've probably noticed that your baby has tried to start talking in little coos and gurgling. So a great way to respond to this is just talk back to them. Let them see your face, let them hear your voice and this will just encourage them to keep using their own voice. And in doing this, your baby hears the sound of language and is just learning about conversation. And your baby's sense of touch is also getting better. So provide colourful objects of different shapes, sizes and textures for your baby to try and hold and explore. This is a great age to introduce an infant gym or play mat with interesting objects that dangle for your baby to try and grab hold of. 
or you could just literally hold a toy out in front of your baby and just encourage them to try and hold them or grab hold of it. But obviously don't string up any toys from cribs or other baby equipment as your baby could get tangled up in them. So that's our tips on stimulating a baby and the things that we like to do. At times your baby may have had enough stimulation though, so watch out for signs that they're getting overstimulated and that they might need a break. If you've got any tips on stimulating a baby then we'd love to hear them, so leave them in the comments below so that other mums can read them as well. But thanks for watching, we would love for you to stick around and subscribe to our channel. I make all sorts of videos to do with parenting and mum life, so we'd love to see you again. But that's it from us and we hope to see you again soon. Bye! <laughs>